One, two, three, go! Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. This is episode 21 of the Trugwog series, where we take a deep dive into the TVAK subreddit and see what the heck we're doing here. So, as you probably noticed right above me, I am playing some video games. Hey, I don't call this channel high stakes games for nothing. So, definitely let me know what you think if you'd actually prefer video games to be in the background because... I could see how it might be a little bit distracting, but it's also pretty cool. Okay, so I am bringing back another round of haters will say. I was kind of reading through some like negative comments and I was like, you know what? I really need to, I, I need to address the negativity. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. I just find it really funny if I'm being honest. Okay, so someone says what psychopath would go to sleep to this <laughs> that's a fair point that's from me saying that i go to sleep to my own videos which is true i get it if if you just you know you all see me through the computer i act crazy i make fun of brendan um i just i talk weird i have outlandish takes on things so I could see how you might think I'm just sort of crazy, but I promise I'm a really chill person. <laughs> yeah, I give a talk. It's like Brendan, right? Um, let's see. I no, I guess what I mean by all by that is I promise I'm not always this much of a crazy person, just most of the time. <laughs> okay. Oh, this one. The, the, these next three are going to be good. Use an established hate watch fan base to promote OnlyFans. You're as bad as the 100 girls that took Delia to court and got nothing. Okay. Um, let me ask you this. What does it feel like standing up for a PDF? Yeah, honestly, I say what you will about me, but... When you're standing up for someone who is harming minors for life, I wouldn't white knight so fast about things because that's pretty disgusting. And they also followed up their comment with another comment. But, but hold on first, I'm not using this to promote my OnlyFans. You're acting like I had some sinister motive of like, Hmm, I, hmm, I know how I could promote it. No, I do this because it's fun. And obviously, I'm letting you all know because, hey, like Brendan, it's all about the marketing, baby. All about the marketing. So if I just never mentioned it, like, it would be kind of stupid, right? Okay. So they follow it up by saying, girls still trying to eke out hate views from that TFAC Hay Squad? It's 2024, ladies. If you had a problem, you should have piped up when the pretty girls were launching lawsuits in mass. Oh, so I'm not one of the pretty girls. Um, yeah, I get the whole Me Too movement. And here is, like, my stance on that whole, like, little situation that was going on. I, I am not surprised, and you all shouldn't be surprised either. To get where you want in Hollywood... Sure, you need good work ethnic, certainly. And being some mediocre guitar player isn't going to make you rise to fame. So, you need, you need the work ethnic and talent for sure. But, like Brendan has taught us, it's not what you know, but it's who you know. And sometimes, the who you know might really make you work for your spot in fame i'll say that much however it gets very dicey when let's for an example you're hooking up with someone and they're drunk you might not be drunk you might be a little buzzed but they might be drunk you hook up the next morning one or both of you regret it and it's that's a very subjective thing, and honestly, I'm not the best brains for the arts to, the, to do all that. So, 
my best advice to anyone, if you're buzzing and you're about to hook up with someone, just be careful, okay? Everyone just be careful out there. The after morning regret is real. Or after night regret, whatever. So, but yeah, that's one thing. But if, if like the girls, for example, in this scenario, um, are kind of reluctantly being forced to do things they don't they don't necessarily feel comfortable with you have to know is this the moment i sell out because if you decide to sell out i'm not saying selling out is bad but if you decide to sell out like your body for fame you need to live with those decisions but if you're being pressured to do something you don't want to do then i think it's pretty valid your concerns i could see why because when, when people start speaking up they're probably thinking you know what i've had enough of this i think it's all time that we band together and bring down the people who harmed us but it's very it's such a subjective thing and i'm not going to pretend like i have all the answers because i don't but it just that's just my two cents it's so irrelevant to everything right well actually not really because, as Brendan Schaub says, the whole BS Me Too movement, that's just my take on it. I mean, I, I don't know. And quite frankly, that stuff always just bored me. I don't care, you know? Okay. So, and I think this will be... Okay, no. So, another person says, respectfully, when you look and sound like you, I wouldn't judge other people. Oh, and Sid from Ice Age called said you stole his whole character <laughs> oh that's funny um you know, i i i make fun of brennan for talking weird but never once have i not said i don't talk weird i know i do in fact i'm probably the only one on the planet who even has this voice but you know sometimes when life gives, gives you lemons you make lemonade if you if you talk different, you look different, you do something different, you found your niche. And for better or worse, I suppose my looks are my niche. Yeah, I never said I was the best looking out there. In fact, not even close. I'm probably like in the bottom 10%. <laughs> but I, I don't know. Okay, let's see. Loser clan, nothing better to do than crap on these two. Oh, I have better things to do. I just like doing this. That's that, that's the difference. Cringe content, be original. I sort of get your point. That's why I try like doing all this, you know? Because as far I know other people make bread and shop content, certainly. But does anyone do it? like this you know what i mean can you go to any other channel and get this kind of same experience all my redacted takes the sort of semi-cool backgrounds it's different so it's it's different <laughs> okay the shop drama is still relevant they said heck but i think they might they might have meant hack which to to be honest with you all I'm not really even sure what hack means. It, it means something bad, but I don't know. I'm not the I'm not the best brains for the arts. Um, someone said, "Z, you're boring. Even made covering shop content boring. YouTube, stop recommending snoozers like this." Well, friend, as I've said in the beginning, this content is to go to sleep to, just have in the background, to have something in your ear. Just go. Tuck, 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 tuck. <laughs> it's all I need. It's all I want. Like, when I'm playing video games, I just love putting stuff on in the background and just, you know, it's cool. I, I really wish when I was exploring open world games that I was just able to just explore the open world, enjoy the ambiance music, and have that be that. But I, I just, I love listening to podcasts. Like, not even, like, podcasts, just anything that'll talk in my ear. But now that I'm thinking about it, any anything, any kind of 
any content that just reacts to something is more or less a podcast to an extent. I don't know. Oh, and one thing I definitely want to say. I talk so much about Wings of Redemption. So, in like a little later, I am going to play a Wings video. And we're just going to watch it and just see how it goes. Okay, now with that 10 minute intro out of the way, let's get started. It, my long intros are either the best or worst thing about these videos. I'm, I'm still undecided. Okay. And another funny thing too is I was actually recording this whole thing like two days ago. But my computer crashed like 15 or 20 minutes into recording. And OBS is... Oh, no, OBS um, kept crashing. I couldn't even record for more than like two minutes without it crashing. So hopefully it doesn't. I'm really hoping it doesn't. Um, okay. So clip number one. You... By Essential 15. You didn't know that went viral? You had a camel Oh toe. my god goodness you had a camel oh toe. wow do you remember that no i don't that's it you have a what do you call that a moose a moose, moose knuckle, knuckle. That's, just my nuts. that's in this room that's me nuts <laughs> that's me nuts that's those, a those vagina jeans, those jeans that's were... a denim vagina no nah, those are big nuts big some no big those nuts. aren't big nuts that's a denim vagina no that's my nut split like that you know what the you know, what, it, you know what the problem is? The jeans are too tight. No, that's, that's not the, the problem. problem. No, no you, I'm really thinking about myself right now. I know where you're going with this, Howie. You, my nuts are too big. That's I, not I, where I, you're going. What is. size shoes do you wear? Thirteen. Well, you know what that means. Giant that means nuts. You, have, you have a giant vagina. <laughs> <laughs> they always say your shoe Gaping. size is the size of your vagina. And that went viral. This is, this shows you how little I pay attention. Oh, okay. Hold on. There's a lot to unpack here. Watch, watch, look Look at his fake laugh. Oh, this was, th he was like, ha, 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 ha. That's exactly what he did. He did this exact face. Ha, 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 ha. That, oh, that was a very passive aggressive laugh. He's angry. <laughs> they always say your shoe size you see, is the size okay. of your vagina. And yes, that went viral. This is, this shows you how little I pay attention to. You didn't know that went viral? No, no clue. You can make a shirt out of that. I don't pay merch. attention to any of that. Granny. Wait, I'll get emotional here. It. <gasps> this shows you how little I pay attention to. You didn't know that when we say your shoe <laughs> size is the size of your vagina. And that went viral. This is, this shows you how little I pay Oh, because cause he was like, oh, that went viral. It shows, shows you how much attention I paid. But that was a question. He's saying, oh, that went viral? Oh, I had no idea. It was a very niche thing that, like, kind of was hitting the rounds. And I'm still undecided if it's real or not. But Brendan... You, you really have to think, if I had a whole subreddit dedicating to hating me, and honestly, when the day comes where I'm even famous enough for a subreddit, I, I would be honored. If you want to hate me, I get it. But, but like, really, if you, you have a whole subreddit who hates you, are you going to take the hint? Maybe they hate you for a reason. Or, no, they, they, they have no valid points. No, not even one, because you're such a mm, good guy. Anyone who says that they are a good person probably isn't. You'll never hear me, like, come on here trying to convince you all I'm a good person. Like, I'm all right. Like, wh what does being a good person even mean? Like, you know, like, you know, like, it's just, I'm half decent. Like, I'm really sweet in every everything a bit crazy for sure but like to be a good person i mean do you all remember that um the office clip when creed is talking to santa like what if you've been bad what if you've been really really bad like downright evil <laughs> okay attention to you didn't know that went viral no no clue. you can make a shirt out of that i don't pay merch. attention to any of that. granny i'll get emotional here it Leave this, Jim. Don't let us edit this out. It drives me nuts. I, you know, this his face he makes when he walks and he's like, oh, "What are we doing here?" And that oh, that actually reminded me. 
I seen someone actually made a podcast like in this area where it their sole focus is on musicians like like just like um musicians in the area where you just get on and like talk about like anything music and I was like yo low-key that would be so cool if I was on that and I probably could be all I would need to do is just write to him so I mean it's not like a very big podcast so yeah it's not like a million like, subs which hey I, I, who am I to talk about what the channel is big or what's not but I'm just saying but how cool would that be to see me on some podcast I would either be their best guest or their worst <laughs> okay visit Black Rifle Coffee and enter promo code THIG to receive your free Baba mug. <sighs> you know, Brayden, I say you, you deserve trolling for a lot of different things, but your facial hair has to be one of them. It's original. I'll give you that much. Even though I know others might beg the difference that it's actually not original. So... But like, dude, why do you, I couldn't imagine just like shaving, right? Like only shaving, just like perfect, dude. I don't, if you if you just shave your mustache, you you have the Amish look. Amish Baba, Baba. Can you even imagine calling someone that? It's crazy. B just figured out being a dad is awesome. Where to post random dads on Father's Day when you have three children? Okay, Brennan Shaw posted on Insta. His son threw a touchdown. The receiver's dad came down to celebrate with him. Um, dad life? You know, I, I said before, I'm not a parent. So, I don't know what it's like to... Just like, the love you have for your child. I don't know. The most love I have for anything, I guess, would be like my parents, my siblings and everything. But, like, you're trying to, like, you, you always obsess over something. Like, you make something your whole personality. Granted, being a, making, being a dad your whole personality isn't necessarily a bad thing if you were a good dad. I mean, you, you do support your children and everything, but I just think when you cheat on your wife and... And like you're, you're putting your family in jeopardy. That's not being a b -b -b beast of a dad. It's being pretty awful. And low key, you trying to make your children, um, like, like hate liberal stuff. It, it's just so cringe, dude. Get your own opinions. Just because Rogan is right wing doesn't mean you need to be too. Think for yourself. That's that's a big thing I always say on this channel. Think for yourself. Don't let anyone tell you how or what to think. You do you. Don't let me try persuading you my opinion's right on anything. Because, quite frankly, I don't know anything about anything. But, Brendan, you think you're just so smart. And it's always the ones, it's always the comedians who think they're so smart. To, to try leaning into being a philosopher that you show your hand. You're not smart at all. So, okay, got a little heated there. Got a little heated. So, it's one of those things where you just stay in your lane and think for yourself. Which one of you cats is at Bonner Bonnaroo? The fighter and the kid skits and bits. Baba. <laughs> Oh, this is mean. This is mean. Now I feel bad. <laughs> the, see, I, I feel bad when I see Brendan, like, all depressed and everything. But I just, I sometimes I hate the dude. Other times I think that, I think it's funny just to laugh at him. And I, I would be, it would be a bit misleading if I said Brendan owed us an explanation. Does he? A little bit, yeah. But... That's, but, uh, you know what I mean? Like, who are we? However, if you want the internet to stop hating you, 
you might just owe us all an explanation, to be honest. I... My, my how far the pest has fallen. Let's see what this is. It's time to get it right and... Get it right! Please make some noise for my friend and yours, Mr. Bubba Sparks! Uh, Bubba? Let me ask you something, ladies. Do you want a little more frosting on your cakes? Yeah! Feel a little lacking in your packing sometimes? Yeah! Do you want people to stop you on the street and ask you if you're wearing cantaloupes in uh, your jeans? Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, well, if you do, look no further, because Bubba Sparks has got the answer. Miss New Booty is the product for you. It'll take you from ordinary to extraordinary instantaneously. instantaneously. Are you ready to get it right in? Get it right! Are you ready to get it right in? Get Okay, before we go to that, um, and just, the, it's, it's so crazy, because all you had to do was just not touch people without their consent. That was it. Okay, I'll see what this one is. What would you say is your, like, next for your business life? What are you looking forward to? So, when I, um, before I got pregnant with my first son, Tiger, I started a clothing company called, uh, Jay-Z yeah. Style, which was fun, and, and it was going great, and I was my own model because, you know, I've always been a curvy girl. Yeah. And the problem that I always have is finding the right clothes that fit me. You know, like, I have a smaller waist, but big hips and a butt, so, it, like, jeans are impossible to right. find and it's tops. Like, they're too tight. Like, they're, like, too like they're huge on my waist, yeah. but then t they don't come up my knees. So, I would try and find clothes that would fit curvy women that, like, not a stick would be able to yeah. wear you know so that was the whole inspiration behind it everything would stretch everything yeah. was like amazing and then I get pregnant and then you're so like, oh. I was like oh man <laughs> so I had to put um, a little stop to it and then I got back into it after Tiger was born um, and, and then, then I if I ever need to do one of these interviews like I'll know something about her is just very fake you know what I mean I get on interviews you want to put on your best like your best shoes <laughs> but like you, you want to act like very like composed very cool but like if, if i was on there like you know i have big hips you know i'm like i would like, yo what are, like what kind of interview is this like what, like what are they even talking about it's one thing to give an interview but like something about it, it just right off street you know she's being unsincere it's very unauthentic boston. because here comes boston i want to get back into it when my mind is right, right. and yeah. there but i also started taking um interior design because i love um interior design i love decorating my house i love yeah. painting i'm kind of like a handyman in a way too i fix things and like that's another passion of mine yeah and like i love turning in just like a basic room into something super cute and mm -hmm. i just love doing that so i yeah. started taking interior design when i was pregnant but i was so sick that i couldn't even like yeah you were like oh. function well we'll get back, well, we'll to, we'll that. Get back to that so that's another goal of mine um i want to finish interior design school this is so boring <laughs> i'm like I, joanna no one cares we don't care you're doing interior interior design. And this is why I always stress to all of you internet folk. You need a hobby. You need something that you're famous for. Like, what do you do? Oh, I was in a show 15 years ago. Oh, so, so, oh, so you're an actor. Uh, not necessarily. Like, I, I hate to say this. I really do. But Joanna is like the prime example of a ta talentless hack. Oh, that's mean. That is mean. And Delia seeing a 16 year old in his DMs. Oh, is that his dad? Oh, a six. Like that is that that couldn't be any creepier. That couldn't be creepier. Like a sixth dude, come on. Like, that's just disgusting. Yeah, Father's Day was good. Son made a card for me. Um, it was kind of disturbing because the spelling was so bad. 
and it was very disturbing. And then, it was um, so bad. Don't get me wrong, it was a great Father's Day, but this is how it went. Woke up, uh, both my kids had a card for me. Boston's just scribble, right? Because he's two, so that thing was kind of a nightmare. And then Tigers, he made it at school. I'm like, I go, T, did any did, did any teacher help you with this? He's like, no, like my name was like, spelled Braden. Um, he was like, I love my dad more than I love Lamborghinis. I'm not gonna try and tell you how I spelled Lamborghini. Um, just all of it was, I was like, dude, this is a hot mess, buddy. What are we, this is private school education. What are we doing here? And then my girl's like, oh, here's your gift. I'm a double X. She got me a XL shirt, so that didn't fit. So we are off to a tough start. Tough start. Tough start. It is. Oh, I love how he repeats himself. He just has to repeat himself like Wings of Redemption. Brendan, you hating on people for their sp for their own spelling is is peak Papa and Mister Alloways. Okay, okay, I see you. It's so funny how he lies when he should be honest and he's honest when he should lie Brendan you really have to say that your two year old's card is a nightmare I mean granted no I'm not I'm not expecting a Picasso but what you should have said even if you did say it was you shouldn't have even said it was a nightmare you should have just said it all meant the world to you at the end of all of this, you should have said, you know what? Everyone gave me gifts. And the fact that it was from my family, the fact that they thought about me, it just, it means the world. It's the thought that counts. But not when you're a shallow millionaire. It's not, it's not the thought that counts. It's the item. It's the thing. If someone... Bren, Brennan doesn't appreciate actually insightful gifts if if he gets like a really cool gift from a stranger just because they had extra that would mean more to him than if his like wife whatever wrote him like a letter how much they love him that shows so much about brendan let's finish this it is a gloomy gloomy la morning here can you tell I'm excited to be in Texas this weekend? I got my freaking Rangers hat on. I got my Travis Scott Jays on. I got a, a Lone poser. Star T on. Can you tell I love Texas? Can you? Brendan, I love how you hate on people when they wear sports jerseys or anything like baseball caps. And you're like, oh, like, oh, you're, you're from like Pittsburgh, whatever. Like, yeah. Oh, so, oh, so you're, you're in a football or baseball, whatever. You know, guess football could be, but you know, Brendan, you're allowed to wear every sports team under the sun, dude. That's like a national crime. Everyone knows you're not supposed to do that. You, I don't even. If I was visiting like Los Angeles, for example, I don't even know if I would have like the gut to wear like a L.A. Uh, Dodgers uniform. They're just, they're just not my team. <laughs> they're, they're, not, they're not our guys. So, yeah. Tell, I'm thinking about making the jump. Can you, is it obvious enough? Mm -hmm. LA's on fire. We have the worst governor in the world. What can you do? What can you do, man? Uh, life is good, though. Life is good. It is stay positive Monday, kiddos. <laughs> oh, yeah. Father's Day, man. I couldn't imagine listening to this. It's it's always it's always different when you have like something visual to put like you know, put your eyeballs to. But dang, like even listening to that is just like almost infuriating. Yeah. Alright. Add this to the list of how the heck do they pay for everything with a failing podcast. You've never seen a happier boy. He can finally go to Big Bro School and he is ecstatic. I see. I, I, honestly, I don't know how Brennan pays for everything. 
I, I don't know. I, I don't, I don't get it. Wouldn't be surprised. Pro if baseball players helped, do it, but, but they're big. It's pretty. Yeah. Easy. Is it for yeah. you? I don't think I couldn't do it. That's uh -oh. that's a lot of fucking. What'd you do? Just Kadoosh! Yeah. And then rip the promo. I'm like, don't strike out like I did. These jerseys are home run. <laughs> that's, that's a great. Stupid that's man. A, that's so stupid. That's so, do you have it on? Guys, this is what a straight guy looks like right here. On here? Uh, Mike has it. Oh, I don't think I we have. have you have it? Yeah. Send that to me. I got to see that. That's so. Yeah, Send it to Chen so everybody can see. Because whenever baseball players would break bats, you'll see. You'll like, see. Ooh. You, I, but yeah. You know what's funny? Me and Jay were talking about this because I sent the video to Jay. I'm like, look how easy I broke this bat. And he goes, don't you remember when we were kids, dad used to always hate on players that broke the bat? Like when Bo Jackson did it. Yeah. And I'd be like, those bats are so fragile. They're so easy. Me and Jay were like, no, they're not. But my dad, since we were kids, like, that ain't shit. That's easy. So you'll see, like, my adrenaline's going because I didn't oh, think, because yeah. I didn't want to not get it done. Did you, you play baseball? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. In high school? Yeah, here it is. This is great. Yeah. Yeah. Damn it. <laughs> Don't strike out like me because these are home run, baby. Go to thickboy.com. It's Nick Friday. Right to <laughs> Terrible ad. That's so I was good. laughing so hard. It's like. I've I've heard Augustino Zingo say this before, how he finds it so cringe that Brendan watches his own content on his podcast. Oh shoot! And I one hundred percent agree. I I I could. It's so weird. He loves watching his own content. And that swing was awful. No one who has ever swung a bat before does that. Yeah, and honestly, I don't believe he played in high school. He might have, like, practiced, like, or something. But, like, no, he never played, like, a legit, on a, on a legit team. Because when he started training his son to be a pro, he even said how he's not a baseball guy. So, that's a complete lie. And for, I just thought you meant like when they swing and the bat shatters, I was like, yeah, they really can't help it. But to to do that to a bat, that is just so disrespectful. But to an extent, this maybe I'm reaching here, but that's almost the equivalent like to smashing a guitar on stage. I don't care if it's like a fifty dollar guitar, like someone made that into someone. It could be their main instrument. So I personally don't have what it takes to smash a guitar. Would I like to? Probably. Will I one day? Probably. <laughs> but it just I, that's a that's a bit much for me. You've made a thousand episodes of this crap. The fact he made that fa I, I don't know exactly what would make him make that face but that is so funny how do you even walk into a place called thick boy i already i already know that there were some questionable things that went on in there and it's true happy father day happy father's day you guys do anything to your dad i just want to say i miss you Joseph, your guiding hand on my shoulder shoulder will remain with me forever. I miss you more than words can express. <laughs> that is funny. Ah! That's really funny. Oh, happy Father Father's Day, thickies. Fuck. I, I honestly I don't see the appeal to Joe Rogan I I really don't I just think why Brendan likes him so much is because he's successful if anyone else was as successful as Rogan Brendan would like him because it's all numbers it's all just that shallow fame that's, that's all they're about I'm almost surprised Brendan isn't a hater to Joe but I guess Brendan knows where his bread is buttered if it was Sam Cassell, my son would have been like, Alien! 
again yeah. and run away. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's like, Sam Cassell, dude. I think that uh, so professional athletes. Not- you know, I'm in the business of likability. <laughs> For old times, I should have done this in the middle of the show, but for old times, do we maybe want to eat, all eat a hot chip? I mean, I'm down. I don't want that. I mean, I'm down. I don't, I don't want that. <laughs> I've never eaten one of those before, and I don't think I really want to. It just seems like, what's the point? Plus, um, to add gasoline to fire, no pun intended, those cost like five bucks. I'm not paying five dollars for an entire bag of chips. You think I'm paying five bucks for a single chip that doesn't even taste good? Yeah, I don't think so. Baseball mom. Of course I'm a baseball mom. I'm about to drop a thousand on a wagon. Oh, that is... Oh, so, oh, so you're all about like the being the parents. Bapa is above a beast of a dad, and now you're above a beast of a mom. I said, I get it. If you want to make being a parent your whole personality, there are worse things. But it doesn't change the fact that it's so cringe. Oh, that's, even that's cringe, too. What are we doing here? Like, we both went through some shit there. The same energy. <laughs> oh that is fun. It, it, it almost you want to feel bad for him if he didn't deserve it but the truth of the matter is he does oh it's raining out and it's not even like gray or anything that's weird okay different because you actually went through the actual yeah. bullshit oh, and this... I, like you gotta realize i i basically going through it with my brother yeah because we're in this marriage so it was yeah. like a double side thing you go first though well i Definitely mean your part thing. of it's losing everything you know like part of it's just going through like you you spend your whole life building something and then just out of the blue somebody says something about you tells a story about you doesn't matter if it's from 1999 doesn't matter what it is doesn't matter if it's true. Your whole life. That's most goes important. Away. Doesn't matter if it's well, true. Yeah. I mean, yeah. 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 Fuck how old it is. Yeah. Okay, I that's a really good point. But I think what Brennan meant to say was like it doesn't even matter if it's untrue. Yeah, like he was just saying, like, oh it doesn't oh no, it's like dip doesn't matter if it's true or not. Implying that it, it's not true. But no, still, I I get I get your point, right? Dicey redact. Badness, for sure. Two C's don't count. Stay home if you're sick. Come over if you thick. Oh, yep. Two two Coming C's this so summer. it don't count. Okay. Too lazy to try getting two times more views than that white boy who works too much. Episode one thousand K grand. Gentlemen. Oh, let's see. Oh, so he got almost a hundred thousand, and too lazy to try. He got a hundred and seventy-five thousand. Oh, that was like that's like eighty thousand more or something, which is like pretty much double. Yep. I guess it shows. You know, you could somehow do really good numbers, but you need to be likable. If you're not, you're done. You are done for. I love this. It says CTE. <laughs> Look at this one. Like, dude, why are you crying? So weird. So weird. I was watching cops tonight on Tubi, and these redux were on a commercial. My night is ruined. My night gets ruined whenever I see those commercials on Pluto TV. I completely understand. There's not an original bone in his body. Oh, another car giveaway. Oh. Oh, for sure. 
100% this is where Brennan got the idea. For sure. Y you think Brennan would ever just willingly give something away if it didn't mean he was getting something in return? Looks like Bobby tried to get that Brenda special. Unfortunately, Bobby Lee will not be performing tonight. Uh, okay. What's up, guys? You've been following me lately. You've seen a lot of, a lot of pictures, a lot of videos teasing a giveaway truck. We're almost there. We're we're at the we're at the half yard line. We're about to score that touchdown, finish this thing. But it is coming along. And what's crazy is I've linked up with the best of the best: Blitzkrieg, uh, Kibby Tech, MPE, King Shocks, Roush is on board, uh, McNeil Racing. I mean, we have the best of the best. And it's turned out crazier than I thought. And I'm legit going to give this thing away. And all I got to do is buy a t-shirt, which is hilarious. But Wait, why is that hilarious? All you need to do is buy a t-shirt. And that's hilarious. How is that funny? That thing looks so ugly. I, I guess it could be like a cool truck, whatever. But... Loki, if you seen someone driving that around, you wouldn't think they're the smartest cookie in the cookie jar. If I won, I might drive it around for a few days, but I would probably end up just selling it, scrapping it. <laughs> and even like post it on social media of like, Oh, this is where the truck is. Oh, and now she's tearing it to shreds, selling it for parts. I think it would be hilarious if one of the homeless cats won the raffle. Oh, for sure. But I'm not buying a shirt for like 20 bucks. No way. There's no crying in baseball. Say less. I, can't, I cannot believe he actually said that. Will Sasso's full appearance on episode 1000. So, after some reflection and, I guess, hearing other people's opinions on it, so I guess Will Sasso did really good, but it was just, like, when I was watching this thing, I I wanted to, like, I, I, just, I just didn't find it funny, but what, what was almost, it was kind of borderline annoying, but I get it was supposed to be funny because he was just totally upsetting Brendan and, and Brian by like just not taking it serious. I think they really wanted to talk to him, but he, he just he just wouldn't uh, go for it. So that honestly is funny, but you know. Live. And what about hashtag Trugwalg. Yeah. Then and then Annie Letterman, people think me and her hate each other. We, and what's funny, and you know, I'm sure it was by design, is my first set, it went me, then her. And I have to bring her on. So, you know, I'm sure it's by design. And I think they thought there was friction there. But little do they know, me and Annie spoke months ago at the comedy store. It's all good. Yeah, she apologized. You know, it was, it was, it was, it was just, and I, you know, I don't care. So it's she posted, good. she goes, can we take a picture? I'm like, yeah. And then she was like, all right, I'm going to post it. I'll talk to you about the caption. So then right before I'm leaving my last set, she goes, I got the caption, uh, Squash Fest. We're squashing the beef. I'm like, you're a genius. Let's That's do great. it. Squash so she fest. posts it and I put my comment on there. I go, hey, I want to invite you and your boyfriend. I got a new truck if you want to go for a ride. <laughs> Hashtag truck walk. <laughs> That's good, dude. Because her, her boyfriend was awesome. Uh huh. Her boyfriend, me and her boyfriend got a timeshare now in Mexico. Me and that dude hit it off so well. Oh, Brendan, oh, Brendan knows his wife is watching. Nothing better than to hands behind your back. Didn't touch her. They look so uncomfortable. Brendan, why would she apologize to you? You tried hooking up with her. Then you tried, like, what, ruining her career. She apologized. If she honestly did, that is pretty pathetic. But... I don't think she did because what's she gonna apologize for? Or, or maybe it's just one of those like, you know, just off the cuff apologies like, oh, hey, I'm sorry about how everything went down. 
that I guess I could forgive, I suppose. You? Well, was the question? All right, cool. Let's see. I think these are the ones I seen before OBS started crashing on me. Double hammy or truck flip? Flipping your truck or losing a foot race to Chappelle? God, uh, both awful. So blowing out both hurting your hammies. Hurting your body or hurting your ego? Hurting quick though. I hurting your body or hurting your ego? I did the the fucking tough mutter like a week later, yeah. but I was so fucked up. Uh, I was on so much shit then. Um, <laughs> the truck. The truck. The truck. Okay. The truck was awful, because I wasn't gonna die racing Chappelle. The truck, I thought I was gonna die. I thought I was gonna die. Brian's off. What if somebody pulls a hamstring? <laughs> And that is Hater Shab right there for ya. Dude, of course you want to warm up. I, like, why wouldn't you? There's no shame in warming up. In fact, there's shame in not warming up. I didn't blow out one hamstring, I blew out both, both hamstrings. Yeah, and to blow out both hamstrings, I mean, it's Such just a, a funny it's thing. Tort. It's like, it's tort. It's, 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 like, tort. it's like, it's like, you gotta it's be a tort. fucking <laughs> idiot. Damn! Blow out both of them. Damn! You know? It's to tort. blow out both. It's like, it's like you're fully retarded. Yeah. But, you know? I agree. That's what it is. Straight up peanut butter falcon. Yes. But You gotta love that projection from Brendan. He fails the jump, and then instead he wants to talk crap to someone behind the cage. That is pure deflection. Wow, this is so crazy. I almost forgot we were gonna watch some Wings of Redemption. So let's just go over that really quick. Like I've been telling you guys, I've been struggling to make ends meet. The donations have been so low. I can barely get the donation goal. You guys, you say talking about I promised Destiny. Destiny was gonna be I'm a 37-year-old e beggar. But black guy, you think it trolls are right about me? Last time yeah. on Breaking Banquet. They can are we get right a poll for a Destiny you. 2 stream? Everybody will accept it because they want to see me play it. Thank you for the two dollars, Blackout Man. Thank you so much for all the donations. You know, I was saying, like, you know, Wings, it's alright if you wanna take video games serious. But the fact you're so toxic is why you get trolled. He'll Give never learn. Mm. Just... Oh. I don't like the I intro, yeah. I'll be honest. It, I'm like the sixth thing. You get that library window? Mm -hmm. EMP me daddy. Did um, it open? Yeah, I'm nearly hard bricks. I didn't want to use too many Selmas on that. I got you. Come on, fuck. <sighs> I should I should have I should have ran faster. The diffuser has been destroyed. I was ran to set us a position to win and then threw the whole round. They sprinted straight into Boho. Yeah, like I heard him and jump through I and then, and then I heard him jump back I through. So I didn't think he'd come back to the door. Way. And then like, I don't know. No, I'll go ahead and ban Bendy Wendy, guys. She should be banned on sight. I'm where I'm usually be. Like the arrested on site or people. something. Dude, I, I I popped Destiny on and I walked around the hub world. Oh, God, man, I can't be, I can't tell you the level of like uninterested I am in Destiny. It hurts my soul. Such a hater. Who wanna have a games I can't this? You know, I think it's really good to see these like two low cows back to back, so you could actually see a lot of similarities between them. My sleep schedule's wrapped around. It's gonna be good. It's going gonna be to good. sleep around 5 p.m. Like, I didn't stream yesterday because, like, I didn't know what to do for Destiny. Whoa, right here. What's up, Ola? Right here. Right here. Right here. Main window, Osa. 
We got lost to guy on K2 balcony. One's main window, one's K2 balcony. She in master bedroom, I think. I got you Solarium camera. I'll watch Solarium if you guys just watch the front. You got a drone in master bedroom looking to you, Skittle. He's in office. The drone's in office right now, so be careful. <clears throat> Will I play RuneScape? Nah, man. Like, if, like, I at least have a chance to play Destiny. RuneScape is completely a no. Unequivocally, 110% no. Is that a Dragon Ball t-shirt? No. I don't own stuff like that. It's... This is like the thing, like if you're, if you're streaming doing what Wings does professionally, I, I don't know why he just wouldn't invest in a 4K camp. He doesn't care. He just goes. He just flips on his camera, his stream, and just does the bare minimum. I, I, you know, it's that add up now. Planet Cracker issue more. No, no, imagine yeah, and I ain't got no test house. I'm serious, sir. Think with the five dollars, man. If you don't know what I'm the Planet Cracker idea. Starship issue more is, you need to play better video games. Plan your defense the court. Can you play Assassin's Creed Mirage? I'm good. Ain't no way Ubisoft gonna get me money for Assassin's Creed again. You got somebody, you got you got Ram in the main lobby. Where's this drone at, dude? They got Osa setting up shields or something. Hitting blue, hitting blue. My comms are mid right now. There was there was nothing to call out. Like, all I was doing right there was I was waiting for the enemy teams to fire their guns. If the enemy team's firing their guns, they're not firing at me. That, let, that gives me a chance to get an angle. Pineapple Jr., this man, so like, weird. I don't remember you. And the fact that you're spamming it makes me seem like you're just going to troll. And I don't have time for that. Guys, if you need a free... One time, I was in Wings' chat, and I kept, like, spamming. Not really. I just kept saying, I was like, hey, Wings, I want to talk to you. Like, And he's like, oh, sorry, I, I don't talk to, like, trolls or anything. Like, because you don't know what they'll say. And I was like, hey, I don't swear, so... But I, th I think I got timed out for like five minutes by one of his mods. <laughs> Hello, picture. Take this one. It was handcrafted. <laughs> you know what that Petra needs? It needs a big steaming plate of lasagna oh, in front of him. this picture. Frederick, a okay. gallon of Zach. Hello, picture. Take this one. It was handcrafted. Watch. You know what that Petra needs? It needs a big steaming plate of lasagna in front you of her. You cannot him. make this stuff up. Frederick, a gallon of Zaxby sauce for five dollars. A gallon of Zaxby sauce can't fit in my stomach, man. Monty Mo, I understand it, that sauce. I'm streaming. Good for you. Observation is a key life skill. Diamond skill, you're standing in front of the doorway, I'm so homie. so passive aggressive. My bad, I was trying to move this drone real quick. No, I was just letting you know in case somebody rushed in. You, you, they, they have no chance of not killing you. I still have it. It's still installed blackout. I got on it today and I'm like, I don't even know how to get out of the area. Uh, she's hacking more cat cams. I got both drones at this point. They're pushing in office here. I got office and I got window here. Yeah, don't don't go don't go out there and just give them kills. Just chill out. Okay, no, it's a teammate. Bus, I don't yeah. know. I hit him with my uh, secondary pistol a couple times. Franklin, what happened to big money donators? Blackout's here. Mario Luigi hasn't been around since January. I don't know. He might, he might, yeah, he might have had to been them. deployed overseas. I think somebody banned Lou. Like, hey, Lou you. and Chuck got blocked by mods. And I haven't... Another thing is lack of responsibility. So, like, how Wing says... I don't ban people. My mods ban people. Mods ban Bendy Wendy. I don't ban people. My mods ban people. Y you see what I mean? Went through and unblocked them. Like, I never understood why they took a... Uh, Laney. I don't have Model for 3 down, uh, bought yet. You can worry less about the beta's out right now. Yeah, but in it only if you bought it. Oh, what do you yeah, want? I don't have it. I think they're tearing up the detention wall. You got guys coming in armory? Dude. <laughs> they're, oh, they're pushing so hard in detention. Look at his camera. There's one hurt Look at in, in uh, there too, Garfield. One's really badly hurt. Might be Ace. But not him. Still another one over there. Another guy in your passport. Passport, passport, passport. Passport going to bathroom. Dog. There are people with cerebral palsy that got me beat on gun skill. A mirror is good for that little section of room though. They're throwing uh, Yings at Tiger. Another Ying going to a Tiger. He might be dead. They got Graham is uh, in office. Thoughts on Kevin McCarthy getting in the sack. I got your E stairs, Garfield. That's why even every Republican president's lost the popular vote.
I don't know, man. I just Burgerland politics are, are, you are so sure about funny, that, bro. Dude, like, I don't know, let but Burgerland figure out you have any rules. Don't talk about nah, things Burgerland, you know Burgerland nothing can about. can save for us, man. You're the protector of us in Europe, but you know Burgerland is just funny. <laughs> Burgerland. I want to see uh, Trump meet, meet with Kim Jong Un again. Changing bags. The orange meets the rocket, man. Let me tell you a secret. People that loot stores use use any kind of oh on their back maybe are just criminals that use any kind of political movement or ideology to as a cover to loot stores oh. I didn't expect him to swing me. I Who's mean, my I favorite president? Wearables, None of them. How much of your monthly income do you guys get taxed in Burgerland? Uh, 22% to 28%. We're, they're coming through Garden Terrace. Garden Terrace, Skittle. I, want, I got one guy on the K2 balcony. Please, do you know who the first person to land on the sun was? No, I don't. Protect the bomb. You, poor Chi got to use a mouse and key. Like, uh, Wings is the smartest person who failed ninth grade three times and then just dropped out of high school. Oh, wow. Doc literally peeked the window with his shotgun. No wow. All right. All friendly. Do I think OJ still did it? Yeah. So certain. So certain, right? I'm a 37-year-old fat e-beggar. Right. You, got, you guys rape. Don't build your life on somebody else's property, right? I, I am sort of like just speaking off the cuff here, but to be 450 pounds, that has to, that has to mean something, right? You don't just get that big if you don't have some serious underlying problems. Like something has to be bothering you. I know Wings is certainly on the spectrum. Maybe I am too a little bit, <laughs> but to get that big, it just, I feel like something just can't be right. Right, Dan, they got a pulse in bedroom. Right. Can we get a claymore right. there? Cause he's gonna jump out. He's on the right side of the window. Pulse is on the right side of the window in bedroom. Pulse is underneath, he's in bed. And it is just so uncunning how Wings of Redemption and Brennan always say bud. I'm th th we both know that they're these two are both huge haters, but the fact that they both say bud is just so interesting because I think when you say bud, it's you're automatically passive aggressive. I don't think I've ever heard someone call someone else bud if they weren't being passive aggressive. Solus is whole ground game up. I, I don't understand. Like people act like Solus is the, is the first stop to ever be able to play underneath. Like Pulse does it so much better. Wings gives out advice like Andrew Tate. Like like yeah. I mean like <laughs> I, like at least I'm honest with you. Honest. Would Says the dude who lied about his truck, right? When I tell you, like, a donation's a donation, you're just giving me money. I'm being real with you. There's a guy on the door. Warren's on that door. Come on. I'm pushing on the A-bomb. Got an A-bomb chassis. One A-bomb chassis, one run out. I went and got my stomach cut out in Mexico. You know, Wings, I get the reason you say your call outs so many times is because it's a way of doing something. In these fast fast-paced shooters even like the whole game could be lost or won even in 30 seconds so you t you saying your call outs like five times is a really good way of like i'm st i'm engaging i'm helping the team i'm helping the team but really you trying to help is doing more bad than good it's distracting you say he's at a they're 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 gonna go to a you saying it that many times it almost like it almost like gives me per anxiety like like yo like okay i'm then i'll do something that maybe i shouldn't have done say it once let your let your team kind of gather their thoughts and then go but you you try playing these mind games like how you say right because you want to subliminally trick us into thinking you're right you're not as smart as you think you are wings 
And because I went and got my stomach cut out in Mexico, they don't have any like standards, right? I, I tell you, no, I, but there was only like three fat people there. It was like me and two other girls. Everybody else was like high school cheerleader. 140 cheerleader. Wings, I I, I want to defend you. Oh, that sounds so awful. But I'm really trying to figure out what you mean when you say that. I I want to give you the benefit of the doubt. But it's sort of hard when you think of hot girls. You instantly think of high schoolers. Uh, not honestly, Wings. I don't. I'm not going to defend you. I really don't want to either. The f when you think of hot girls, you instantly think of high schoolers. Let that sink in, everyone. And even if, by some crazy chance, in Mexico, um, these high schoolers were getting lipo, they're bombshells. Th yeah, Wings, that just shows how you view high schoolers. You think they're hot. <laughs> that that is uh, I don't even I don't even know what to say and I don't know what to do. It's pretty horrifying. So here's another thing that Wings and Brennan Chop have in common. Wings is attracted to minors. Brennan Chop it just has sympathy for those who are. Huh. Ain't that just cunning? That's sick. I'm the Meridian. Which isn't true. They're in high school, like all like good looking, whatever. Dude, like Skittle, you put why that would they be in there, life? Oh, you hate me getting me. I don't know. Where they at? Dude. Ah, four is defusing a bomb. Like a you need bomb? To like wings. You no, know, if you would have said like, oh, like you know, these girls like were cute. Like I guess that still sounds a little weird, but. To say bombshell, you are legit saying this girl is hot. She is sexy. A bombshell. I've never heard any guy say that to a girl before. That she's a bombshell. I, I told leave me a comment once saying, why do you keep calling Wings a PDF? This is the first I'm ever hearing of it. It, you heard it here. Wings is Wings finds high schoolers attractive. That's yeah. How did you not kill him? Uh, mission failed. All friendlies. Like 140 pounds, five six is thick. It, I would call it overweight, but I call him like thick. That's like that's like that's a girl that's got got all the right curves in all the right places. Everyone, you cannot make this up. You cannot make this up. You can't. But no, but no, like 140 pounds, five six is nowhere close to being fat. NS, when you settle this bait, the Wendy's was better and tastier when they weren't use when they were using that yellow packaging. I brought blitz out because I want to guess the last round. I'd be in a better mood if somebody dropped a hundo. You fighting anybody, Garfield? Where are they at, Garfield? Might go all the way back around. They're healing with Thunderbirds right now in gold, healing in gold. And then you got one on diffuser. Come on. <laughs> Perfect fire. Look at this. That's what you get, Wings. That's what you get. Are oh, you going to sleep? Everybody's bouncing. I'm sorry, man. Alright. Bye bye, guys. I'll play tomorrow. Uh, Joe, man, I don't have the game, man. <laughs> <laughs> like I've been telling you guys, I've been struggling to make ends meet because the donations have been so low. So like I, I can't afford to buy the game currently. Shut up. Dude, increase the donation goal? I can barely get the donation goal. Dude, you guys, you say and talk about I promised Destiny. Destiny was gonna be be so fucking boring, dog.
Like, I have it so installed. Boring, dog. I st One time in Wings' chat, I tried making him fess up to the fact that he swears a bunch, but he just ignored me. Like, Twisty, any last words? <laughs> How could, it, how could it be boring? You all just want to see rage. Like, I, I, That's it. I, I, dead air. Where's this guy at? He spammed his name 15,000 times. Now I can't find it. Mm, I'll be right back. Oh. Mm -hmm. mm. I, I love how it's all Wing says is mm. He always does that now. You say something where he, he has no response to, he just goes, mm. I, th I think, realistically talk, Wings is just addicted to his mannerisms. Yeah, I don't think he could stop even if he wanted to. Having a preference for women is so lame. Like generally, like how <laughs> a woman's personality is more important is more important than the culture behind it and how well she treats you. You should be going for values over culture. Hell take. Oh, you can call it take all you want. Got a higher body count than oh, you, you do. My body count's like 12. 10 seconds before insertion. OMG, no it's not. We ran off. Yeah. Like three or four at best. Do you want me to get a? Um... Well, he had Kelly, Brandy, another one. So it's three at best, or at least, with just sick wings. You think like, oh, I have a thick six, dude. You made me. You made wings. I only know this because you made me look it up. When you're obese, you're overweight, then it actually does affect the size of your pecker. Yeah, so it's probably like three and a half inches, probably, which is really funny. Like how Chris D'Elia was saying, uh, his wife, when his wife sees it, she just goes. <laughs> Get rid of Valkyrie's on these stairs. <laughs> Yo, but, it ain't that sure. serious. Black guy, you think it trolls are right about me? It's more telling you. Yeah, look, he just said black eye. The trolls are right wings. It's, it's, mm, mm. Dude, what did that mean? And just like Brendan, you say that there's no validity in what you're saying. But, I mean, in what the trolls say, so nothing. Oh, what what are they going to say? I, I, I get mad at video games and, and bl black people. Well, that's true, you do. I don't know, Wings. I don't know what to do with you anymore. God damn it. Dude, does anyone have, uh, any MPs? Don't <gasps> Someone said, look at, someone said black eye. That's exactly what he's like, black eye. I can't black eye. Ah. <sighs> yes, yes. You love to see it. Oh shit. All right. So oh, Black Misty, by the way. <laughs> I thought we were some black people. I just don't know how to make. I, I personally don't know how to make Destiny fun. Like I got on it today for like 30 minutes and I was bored out of my mind. I'm like, no way can I stream this game and be and make it be successful. <laughs> we want to see you rage. That's it. That's that's what's funny. Terrible. He's on metal. He's on metal. Thanks. Oh, never mind. All friendly. Ugh, good thing I was muted. <laughs> good thing I was good muted. Try, good try. Good try. Just Do y'all have a favorite mod? Only mod? Favorite what? Mod? Mod. Yeah. I think favorite what? <laughs> what? what like mean? mod and like his chat, yeah? No. It's not Fucking right. yellow dick swagger was a pretty fire ass name though. Can't even lie. <laughs> 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 Brody's gonna remember that one. 
Please don't talk about trolls. <laughs> All right, bro. I know it's so easy for me to. I would say this, but it's so easy for me to be say wings deserves more because when you're swatted, I imagine the trolling gets real old real quickly. But wings, with how toxic you are, like, dude, why wings? Why are you the way you are? <laughs> Because you're a toxic and you're a hater. Five seconds before insertion. Not as simple as that, bud. Because the moment I called for like, because the reason I thought you heard my Take call out, Trey, was because I said break room. I was, I was giving, I was giving call outs, but I was muted. I got a guy here in archives. We shouldn't be pushing downstairs. We, we need to have some kind of upstairs. I need somebody to help push with me. Fat trans, come open this wall. No, we haven't hit the donation goal today. We're ten seconds to go. Like eighty dollars off. Five seconds to go. We need one to mill off or what? Clutch. You found a bomb. Oh, we we to the the it. He's in office. He's got a hole in the floor. So they're playing underneath it. Oh, he beat me. How? Nah, he, he just randomly had fired. <laughs> oh, that's a, yeah, you're going to get someone with that claymore. Right, and they don't they don't want her to they want people to be pulling for the gadget, not their guns. <clears throat> right. I mean I really like the G three. And that's why they're changing her. I feel like that's the only thing right to do. Secure. No. <clears throat> no? No. They don't want Jeez. frag ops. Oh come on. For dude. duty sucked in this game, he sure knows a lot. Well, we just lost a 4-2, boys. Knowing yeah, was just where both it, people are at. We just oh, threw bodies into them. Because somebody called through my main hallway. They didn't say he was going to be heading toward offices. Uh, I mean, I uh, someone red-panged him, so I just couldn't. Yo, for real talk, Wendy's has some fire chili. If you're ever at Wendy's, just get serious and order the chilies and spicy chicken nuggies. Thank me later. I couldn't tell where he's oh, gone because he destroyed the camera. It. How's your guys' night today? Terrible. So the negative. Area. What happened tonight, Will? Uh, I am talking about it on stream. Right. Oh, it was a Mr. Yellow. Right. It was a yellow thing. The troll who always exposes you. One of those days, I can't blame you. Well, everyone, that is that. Hopefully you enjoyed this extra little clip at the end of the truck wall. Now that I think about it, I think I will start incorporating like some more low cows, like ones only I'm interested in. I, I know nothing about Dark Side Phil and I really don't care to, so I'll probably never cover him. But I think it's cool to you know, like, sh like show some more stuff because I always talk about how Wings, Brendan Schaub, even Lauren Armstrong, how they have a bunch of stuff in common. But it's nice to actually like see these clips back to back to know that like, dang, like what she's saying is actually true. There's, th it takes very specific things to make a locale. You have to be a narcissist, your ego has to be out of control. You you have to have the ability to not tog. You have to be making money. Um, you have to be a hater. You have to be negative. It's it's things like that. It's the perfect storm. Uh, I love when my lightsaber looks just like red, even though it's dying. These batteries suck, or that thing is sucking off a bunch of energy. I don't know. Everyone, if you want to support me on OnlyFans or Patreon for early access and exclusive photos, that'd be really cool. And honestly, it means the world to me. Any support, I I really do appreciate it. Just to know other people believe in me. Because I, I believe in all of you. Remember to not stress the small things. I know some things in life make you want to go crazy, pull out your hair, and lose hope. 
but find what rings true to you. What lights your heart on fire? What makes you go? What makes you obsess over it? Do that. When I first discovered No Doubt, it, that, it borderline changed the whole trajectory of my life. Discovering one band. That discovering one band led me to forming a band. And my future is still being written each and every day. I have band practice later. And we'll, we'll see how that goes, but things are going really well. We're going to start playing shows sooner than later. It's... I, I've written my 